Hello! Hi. Hi! Uh, good evening everyone. Uh, thanks for waiting. Um, we're gonna be going live shortly. Tonight is gonna be the Div 3 semi-finals. I'm joined tonight by Dreamerung. Hello! What's up, man? What's up? Right, so tonight's Div 3 uh, semi-finals is gonna be CTZ against TDI. That is Chaotix against Technical Difficulties. Uh, I say TDI, but they're all using the tag ITD. Uh, it's the same thing, it's the same thing. They're all from technical difficulties. And uh, looks like everyone's already in the server. We can just hop in straight away. Uh, first map for tonight, of course, is going to be CP Gullywash. Yeah, just waiting for everything to start properly. Uh, I guess we can go through the rosters really quickly. I think it's going to be Me Ali, it's going to be Medic, Nameless on Demo, Romo's going to be Nasty, Shatler's on Pocket, Striker's going with his friend Cronus. And I think it's a strong roster compared to TDI though. Yeah, so that is uh, CTZ's roster coming up. And uh, TDI, they're going to have a little bit of a roster changing going on. Uh, no idea what's going on right now. They're t just reconnecting and stuff no idea but uh they had to do a slight reshuffle because their medic uh, poey i believe uh, is not on uh so they had to shuffle around their players a little bit so the scouts of course are going to be wolfie and yekom leraj is going to move up to the roma instead of scout uh pocket is going to be dm nader of course demo man eclipse and the medic will be Neva. so that is the roster for itd and uh we've got three scouts going down right now iphone currently still inside the server he's gonna have to leave uh, before we can actually start. But uh, yeah, those are going to be the rosters for both sides. CTZ, oh, oh boy, they've got quite a few uh, hard-hitting players. They've got Nasty on, so that is Nasty on the Soli row. That's going to be pretty scary, because we saw him perform in the uh, Div 2 matches, I think. He subbed in for uh, TMG's players, so he's going to be helping out with CTZ right now. And uh, in terms of predictions, do you have anything going down? Yeah, I think... That uh, CTC, it's gonna be a fun match, honestly, because both teams are equally skillable, you know. But without Momo, their star player off being at the oh, yeah. uh, off class, it's gonna be a tough, tough game for both teams. Mm -hmm. So, looking forward to see uh, what the Div 3 players, of course, can bring to the table. It is, of course, the semi finals. The loser is gonna go down and uh, have to be content with third place. While uh, the winner, of course, will be moving up to the Grand Finals to face off against Team Machines, who are currently just waiting there. Uh, thanks to all the controversy that went down, uh, TM was supposed to play up, uh, play against ITD, I think. Uh, but because of the stuff that happened and CTZ got pushed back down, uh, TM will, in, the, in, in return, got pushed up into the Grand Finals. So they're just going to be waiting for whatever's going to go down next week. And uh, tonight we're going to have CTZ and ITD. So for those of you in Twitch chat, only just joining us, a very good evening uh, and welcome to the Asia Fortress Cup Season 11 Div 3 Semi-Finals. Uh, tonight we're just going to find out who's going to be third place and who's still going to have hope to see that golden badge. So as of right now, are there any players that you have on your radar tonight? Like uh, any players that you think we should look out for? Yeah, <clears throat> like DMs, bombs and mm -hmm. nasty. Mm -hmm. Both Romans are really good though, so I can't really say anything. You're gonna do some Park Champ plays. <laughs> yeah. Kachows and Kachows coming out for both sides, hopefully. Uh, they should be able to be uh, starting soon, I do think they've got everyone in. In terms of latency, pretty much uh, fair even spread. Everyone's got local ping, so it's all fine. Uh, ITD players, of course, all using the exact same display profile picture. A little bit creepy, but you know, whatever floats their boat. And uh, CTZ, of course, they're just going to be hanging around and uh, just waiting for the match to start. So, of course, we've gone through all the rosters already in terms of predictions. It's going to be quite tight, I think, but I still believe I may be wrong. I hope I'm going to get, uh, get proven wrong, but I think CTZ may probably take this uh, first map, at least. Uh, we're just going to have to see how things play out later on. So ITD, they've got all their players in. They have, I don't know, they don't have their, I would say, core roster because they usually have Poey on Medic, uh, Lerage on Scout with uh, the other Soli. I can't quite recall who right now, but uh, yeah. Other than that, it should be fairly okay. I mean, they're still using their sub-rostered uh, players, so it's all fine. 
So we've all, we've, of course we've got uh, some predictions going down inside Twitch chat as well. Uh, people calling out 5-1 to CTZ winning in Gully with two drops. Wow, it's so detailed right there. Uh, but yeah, so keep those predictions coming in, of course, inside Twitch chat. Once again, we're just going to be waiting for uh, the players to get sorted out. And then uh, when they, whenever they're ready, they can start. Yeah, I think Sai is coming in to join the server to replace Ooh. one of the soldiers. Or I think... Oh, we've got the line. Yep, going live off the bat. Uh, we are going to be on a Shana server, so there's not going to be any restarts. So any botched uh, rocket jumping is right now. Uh, are bad, not good. Like right now, just oh, <laughs> name lock <laughs> jumping up high into the air. Uh, yeah, so good for little name lock for his rollout. Fairly standard. Go down by lower, come up from the big door. Start spamming stickies straight away at the choke, but no one's gonna be there. Everyone's coming up for the side of the big door as well. CTZ gonna be moving up, and oh, ITD player's gonna get spotted out. The medic eats so much damage, 50 health. He's gonna be in quite a dangerous spot. The scout is just right there. And uh, takes down Wolfie, being the first one to get destroyed on the mid-fight. But ITD, despite dropping all their players, uh, they do pick up Ellie. And that is uh, both medics eventually going down during the mid-fight exchange. Only people are going to be Yakom as well as Eclipse for the side of ITD. But they're way, way far back. Scout coming in to finish him off with a pipe. And uh, pretty much easy mid, easy second for CTZ. Yeah, the thing where it went wrong is... I think just a lack of DM. <laughs> That's what I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely, the ITD players, I mean, they got caught out in choke. Everyone was just everywhere, and uh, the medic was pretty much left alone. So that really cost them that midpoint, and of course the second as well. But uh, as we can see, everyone's getting all the buffs coming in from ITD. Uh, as of right now, no off classing. I'm not too sure if Wolfie's going to go off to, say, uh, Engineer. Maybe not. Doesn't look like it. But they did pick up uh, Ellie on the mid fight. So it was, uh, I would say, slide out, of course into the hands of CTZ. They've all congregated inside Riverside and they're just waiting, just keeping everyone buffed up. Once they get that full loop charge, they should probably be able to go in. They've got pretty sizable land, about 30 or so percent. They've got that much to work with and the uh, ITD still no off-classing. I thought that should be at least be in, uh, an engineer. It probably would have been a level 2 by now. But uh, yeah, that is what's going down. They're going to try to build that charge up as soon as possible. The Uber charge is going to be ready for the side of CTZ. I don't think they're going to push it with 10% at a little bit too risky. And, uh, and that is going to end up with ITD getting their Uber charge as well. So it's going to be another stalemate on the last point. It's going to be really hard for ITD to push out from this with uh, CTZ just holding it all right there. They've got their full Uber charge. It does look like they're just going to go in with this. And uh, Nasty, of course, with that bomb straight in, trying to get the force. He's going to get denied with the pipes coming up from Eclipse. That is Nasty down. Uh, no follow-up coming up from CTZ, though. They're just going to be hanging back and not intending to use that Uber charge. Probably just wanted to get that force down before they decide to do anything. And with Nasty down, they're going to be a slight player disad. But apart from that, nothing much getting done. Lero's going to try to peek about. He's going to get absolutely punished for that. And uh, once again, just going to be on a little bit of a stalemate, just waiting for everything to uh, get back in place. I think without Momo as your sniper, oh, yeah. <laughs> straight away with that Uber scout. Gonna pick up one scout, Wolfie, but uh, Sticky Trap's on point, still in motion. Gonna take down Pronus of Striker falling shortly after. Shatler gonna try his best to try and start dancing around the point, but he's gonna get denied. The only people up gonna be the demo man at the front line. Name Lock gonna try his best to catch this point with uh, Nasty right there, finishing off with a crit rocket. Let Rush going down and uh, pretty much first point going to the hands of CTZ. Yeah, as I was saying, I think they, uh, without Momo with, the, with them, I think it's like, without their carry sniper, it's gonna be like a stalemate game. Yeah, but they're still doing fairly alright though. They didn't manage to get that first snag, that uh, first point, so everything's gonna be alright. Bonus <laughs> of just getting absolutely destroyed. Lerat and Eclipse going down as well. This is not looking out for ITD. They're just cramped up in that corner. The medic is just running about. Sorry, uh, for CTZ, they were cramped up in that corner, not ITD. ITD doing really well this mid. Uh, grabbing that midpoint, Medic of course staying alive as well, CTZ's Ellie backing up all the way to the river to get with the scout, gonna build that charge up, should be able to have the Uber charge, no issues, and uh, it does look like they're just gonna hang back and defend last with uh, ITD just grabbing that second point, both Medic of course still gonna go, uh, get that Uber relatively about the same time, uh, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna see some nasty jumping in. And uh, see if he tries to get the force down to the minute. He's just peeking about. We've been seeing him jump about so much on uh, during that Div 2 match. So definitely he is going to be the playmaker for the side of CTZ. Just jumping in and trying to get the force. He's just spamming rockets into the entire body 
of ITD just clumped up right there. And uh, they're just eating every single rocket. And Neva just has to try and keep them buffed up. Lerard's going to be jumping in, but he's going to get spotted and eventually finished off by Nasty. And uh, Pronosif going to be a sniper as well. We're going to have a Pyro in play. All the uh, Highlander strats going to be coming in. Striker as the Pyro coming out, trying to cobble up and drop the point. Scout going to be right there. But Medic Flash going to come in and save his life. ITD trying to do the most they can in this push, but everyone's getting absolutely destroyed. The only person up is going to be Yekov. He has no choice but to run out of there. He's effectively almost a full wipe apart from Yekom, and uh, CTZ probably going to get an easy second out of this. He's trying to get that pick down onto the Medic, with the Medic only coming up right now, but Yekom going to get denied. And uh, Ellie, just up and well. Oh, oh my god, I was choking the water. <laughs> oh, I wasn't watching, I'm sorry. CTZ just trying to push forward right now. Big Doe is just going to be spammed out by ITD. And uh, a little bit of spam exchange right now. Nasty going to eat so much damage. Shallow going down. Nasty falling shortly after. CTZ players going to be backing back into the lobby. By ITD just poking and spamming out from the big door. Pronosif is out and about. Striker coming in. Still has the pyro getting set up with those sticky traps. Pronosif 60 health jumping about. Uber finally flashed onto him. And uh, just the, the ITD players dancing about right now. Letrush is spawning in right now, making his way to the front lines. Yekon tries to pick off that demo man. Pistols out. Not enough. CTZ players, Ellie going down. Namelock striker down as well. HDP nasty. Still up and jumping about. Trying his best to do absolutely everything. And uh, just ITD desperately trying to recapture that second point. They are going to drop quite a number of players. Not really worthwhile to start just throwing bodies in. It doesn't like CTZ, they're just going to be able to hold on to that. Yeah, this TDI are definitely throwing players into them. But they're getting a lot of kills though in return though. But then, mm. during that, I think they're, lost, they're losing a lot of players though. Oh yeah. Getting kills is a good thing, but uh, with no players to follow up, that's a bad, bad no-no. So they're just going to be hanging back on the midpoint. Everyone's going to be watching those flanks as well as the choke. And uh, both medics, I would say, slide in red, but negligible in the hands of Neighbor. He's just stagnant at 54 right now, just trying to keep his teammates buffed up. With uh, uh, Ellie just catching up relatively easily, 65, and, uh, and counting Uber is equal. And then just poking and prodding through that uh, choke area. And uh, <laughs> Nasty once again tries to go in for a play, but gets destroyed and punished for that. Both yeah, Uber's here's the thing. Yep. Yeah, with our Momo in the hands. With, with that in there, without Momo, it's just so hard to bomb a combo like that without a sniper. Mm -hmm. There you go, Yekum's gonna be coming in, he's gonna be shiny and glitter. And uh, apparently no one's gonna be watching Riverside, no one's, everyone for CTZ, they're just all the way far up in front. Yekum has his sights onto the medic, that denial coming out from the scatter shots, that is gonna be the solely down. Ellie going down as well, zero kills for both sides though, never was destroyed as well, both spawns. About the same time, we've got a 2v1, and that is going to be ITD effectively wiped off the map. Full wipe with that attempted push into last. And the best why CTZ are going to be able to grab second as well as mid. They've already got second, sorry, but they're going to grab mid relatively easily. We've only Eclipse at the front lines together. Rep, uh, Lit Rod's joining in right now. <laughs> Striker oh, just running in. It looks like everyone right is though. throwing players now. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna be an MGE fight on the midpoint. The nipple gonna have a lot of action going down. ITD desperately want to try and recapture this midpoint. It does look like they're not gonna get any resistance coming up from CTZ though. Pronosif is still gonna be behind them, just poking and uh, peeking around the big door, and uh, no one has noticed uh, noticed that he's behind. So he's gonna be able to come in and try to get some meat shots down onto Wolfie. He lands a couple of nice meat shots, but he's not gonna be able to finish him off. He gets absolutely destroyed after that. Wasn't able to uh, finish what he started, and uh, CTZ player is going to try to start pushing out, but DMN is going to be the first one picked up. Name not going to be watching around as well, and we're going to start contesting this. Everyone is in the red, never going to be taken down once again. Another full wipe at the front lines for ITD. What are they doing? Eclipse attempting to do some magic plays, but he's going up against the entire CTZ. He should have stayed alive. Oh dear me, Eclipse. That is a full wipe. For ITD, CTZ recapture the second point. They're gonna start pushing out. They got that full Uber charge. Should be easy. Almost getting the pick down onto Ellie, but he backs out, grabs that health pack, finger off the trigger, doesn't get forced. Good job on him. TDI are just throwing players into their combo. It's, it's never gonna stop. I'm just surprised they're not like losing 5-0 there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, 
really don't know why they're just throwing people in. They're not coming in as a group, they're just going in one by one. That is not good at all, especially in the semi-finals, all everything resting on this. So they've got their full movement charge, they can push in relatively easily. ITV, they should be defending, uh, they should have start building shit at last. They have no room to contest this. Uh, Neighbor's still gonna be running that medigun, and uh, he's gonna be at 59 health. Yeah, it's time to back out. And uh, gonna start holding last. So they don't really have any defenses set up. They don't have stickies in play yet, I think. Yeah, no stickies on the last point, no sentry set up, no all passing either. But they are gonna have that full loop chance to contest this, so that is uh, the silver lining, I guess, for them. And uh, CTZ can start making their way forward to try and see what they can do with this. Neva just hitting every single rocket right there. But he's gonna be fine, still surviving. Stinky's laid down at his feet! Still surviving somehow. He's gonna be all alone on the left side. He's gonna get singled out though. Trying to zone him out from healing his teammates. And uh, that is... Yeah, there. Nasty's gonna try to go in and do something. But he's gonna get destroyed by Litraj. And... Uh, oh dear. As of right now, still no action going on. They do pick up two players for the side of CTZ. Uh, they do drop uh, Yekom after that, though. So, slight number at, but I don't think they're going to capitalize on this. We've got the spawners coming in, so they're just going to be holding the last. And, uh, once again, still no off classing. I thought we would have seen at least maybe a pyro or, a, or an engineer to at least have some sort of distraction. Yeah, for the he, he has spawners and his uh, signature spy play. Yeah, he's going to be spy making his way to the front line. So they're just going to have to, uh, they're just going to wait for Pronus to get a pick before they do anything at all. Uh, yeah, that is no, provided. This is really Ooh. good. Yeah, late is going to go down. So Pronus is going to be going in right now, disguised as a friendly sniper. We've seen this play before. Everyone's going to notice that the sniper's currently in play. He's going to get picked off. Dead ringer though? Oh boy, yeah, he they bump into him, they know he's around. And uh, the sound of the Dirt Ringer, he's gonna be standing on it right now, but he gets sticky crap to heaven. Cooper Charge is gonna be traded, everyone's gonna start jumping in, gonna try to see if they can get anything done, but apart from that, they're just shooting at the shiny players. Oh, that's a pretty nice air denial coming out from Shatler. And uh, Yuki, of course, the Striker Scout gonna be coming in. They're dropping quite a number of players outside at ITD, but they're somehow holding it though. Eclipse gonna have to do a decent job, but he's gonna be taken down. That is gonna be a full wipe at the last point. Another point into the hands of uh, CGC. Both teams throwing players, but CGC has the better DM. That's why they're winning those throwing player fights, man. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, so I don't know. ITD. Uh, they just spread thin sometimes. They're all over the place, but uh, I don't know. They they did they, they, they had a, I guess a semi decent defense coming out. Eclipse gonna get immediately bombed by the Sollies, but those Sollies are gonna get absolutely denied. Nasty's down. Striker going shortly after. It does look like they're trying to focus on Namelock. They do so successfully. Yekom already at the front lines trying to chase down that medic, but Protoss are gonna do a very good job of defending him. And they're gonna come in as well to try and assist his teammates. And uh, Ali still up and well, grabs the medium health pack, he's gonna be fine. Second point gonna be in contest right now. We have Neva gonna go down. Pronos with a huge pick, that is zero heals, zero charge from the side of ITV with uh, Ellie still with that full charge. Lera shooting rocks instead of shooting the Sollies. And uh, he's not gonna be able to pick up anyone. 46 health, he's gonna be taken down. Fully recharged for the side of CTZ. They should be able to push out with this. With uh, ITD just spawning in right now. They don't have any charge. Still running that stock medigun. Uh, they should not be contesting mid. They should not be going out. Go back, please. Please go back. I are uh, throwing players too much without Poey telling them what's wrong. I think that's costing them the game, honestly. Yeah, they're, they're just... I don't know what's going on. They're just going in with really really bad ideas and they're just gonna start watching that big door right now they should have really held this area down instead of trying to peek through Sully's of course gonna be jumping about we've got nasty right now trying to take down any players that he sees he's gonna start spamming out those rockets shallow gonna be coming in behind him as well and they've already been uh, pushing forward they do pick up three players though for the side of CTZ they drop uh, both scouts as well as nasty and uh, ITD just uh not coming out because they did lose their medic and once again there they go they're gonna start with those sacrificial bombs but the thing is it's not really a sack if you're sacking your entire team it's suicide and that is uh there's a very fine line between sacking and suicide and they're on the wrong side of it they are finally gonna have uh, neighbor back at the front lines they do somehow successfully defend the second point though i guess it was that three-man pick just pushing ctc back stopping their momentum but uh 
We were popped beside a CTZ. They're just gonna start coming in right now. The medic, of course, gotta be solo and eventually finished off once again. That is Neighbor biting the dust. And uh, Shallow, of course, making his way through the lobby. Gonna try to pick up more people. And uh, second point, easy peasy into the hands of CTZ. And they're just gonna start playing on the final point. Stickies are gonna be in play. Scout standing on right there. I don't think Eclipse can do anything to try and do his best. 81 health. He's doing a fairly decent job though. 26. He's taken down. 3 0. CTZ. Yeah, the thing is, like, Neva could not count overcharge, and the thing is, like, they had, CTC had, like, a 70% 70, 70 ad, mm -hmm. and everyone's just playing so close to the Uber, and then that's a team wipe, almost. Yeah, I don't know, N Neva was just in bad places at the wrong times, and, uh, we'll just have to see how, if they can think about it and just work around it, but here we go, Nasty just gonna pick up Yekom off the bat during the mid-fight, we're gonna see DMN floating mid-air. And uh, Nasty can't finish off a leggy solo, he eventually does so, but 19 health, gonna get finished off by Litraj. Gonna have only two players for the side of ITD at the front line, Litraj trying to lag his way to safety, but he's not gonna make it. And uh, the only per person up is gonna be Wolfie, and uh, yeah, not gonna really do anything with that. Uh, here's Yekum, just throwing players, but he gets a frag though. <laughs> They're not doing anything to stop it. Yeah, no, I... <sighs> okay, they don't have Uber Charge, they don't have any off passing either, and that is not good. I mean, at this rate, yeah, look, we've got Pronus already just standing on the point. Uber is still shiny, Namelog gonna be coming in, gonna finish off himself apparently. And uh, CTZ just still trying to fight this. We've got a scout running about, dancing on point. Protoss are trying his best to just finish off that scout, but he's gonna get denied instead. And uh, Yakum gonna try to come in to finish off Nasty, who in return gonna get destroyed. As a very good defense coming up from uh, ITD. Successful defense, they do wipe out almost the entire team. And uh, this should allow them to push out fairly easily. Name lock gonna be right there. They're gonna try to spam those stickies down. Neighbor once again. Just standing in the bad places, gonna eat quite a bit of spam, and uh, Nemlock just gonna be happy to spam it from all the way there. He's gonna back out in the end. They do pick up Striker as well as Protoss of Neva, eventually landing an arrow on him. And uh, apart from that, second point, easy into the hands of ITD, and uh, just gonna have to wait and see what goes down on the mid fights. Yeah, I think these gimmicks from CTC, like Troy, like the name, like Shadler, just. Going behind them and catching them, catching their demo off guard. And here comes Nasty with the big place. Yeah, Nasty comes flying in. 11 health, gonna get finished off in the end. And we got aggressive bombs coming in. But uh, no one's on the other side of the map. Shadow just jumps in to uh, frag a box. And apart from that, ITD just far off in safety. And they're gonna have that Uber charge ready to go. It doesn't look like they're gonna try to poke about through anywhere at all. Like, they're just hanging pretty far back. We've got a scout at the back lines though. Striker eventually gonna get finished off. And uh, ITD had so much time to push out with that Uber charge. Not anymore with Ellie having his up as well. So e Ubers are gonna be equal ones again. And uh, yeah, there you go. Mid midpoint, I would say, still gonna stay in the hands of CTZ. ITD just hanging back at the choke, you know, with that full charge just hanging on. They're not going to be able to do much unless they can send in the soul to get a force down onto that medic. Nothing is going to get done if they're just going to hang back and wait for people to do anything at all. Maybe just peeking around all the wrong places, just looking through a choke on his own. Dangerous place to be when you have Striker on the... Uh, sniper roll as well. He's going to be watching from choke, so if uh, Neva picks his head out, he's going to go down straight away. So it's just going to be a, another spam fest going down. They're just going to be poking and prodding at each other. But uh, 11 minutes and 33 seconds counting down. CTZ sitting comfortably 3 0. Uh, ITD, man. If they want to have a comeback game, they have to start moving right now. If not, there's not going to be any time at all. Uh, Striker, of course, just going to be watching from the big door with his uh, sniper scope. Just waiting for someone to peek through. Wolfie possibly going to make that mistake, but Striker lands a shot on the on the wall instead. Not going to be able to get much done. Lerard's going to be coming in from below though. Let's see if he can actually get something done. They haven't noticed that he's down there, but his rockets aren't going to be hitting anything if he's shooting uh, shooting the sky essentially. But he does uh, does somewhat uh, you know he's able to somewhat push them back a little bit. Who is yet to be popped from either side? We've got Nasty at the drop down waiting for something to happen. But uh, yeah, apart from that. 
is just going to be on a slight stalemate. Lit Raj once again just lagging his way back to grab that health pack. And uh, Striker just standing about with 22 health. Going to wait for that arrow to come in before we can actually do something down. So you see, TDI players are just walking into Striker's scope, but <laughs> no strike. Striker seems not that good. It's not Momo. <laughs> it's not going to get punished for that. So it's, uh, yeah, just waiting for someone to make a mistake before they can do anything. He doesn't like, they're just going to try to get Striker to peek through, but he's possibly going to get picked off. No, he's not getting punished at all. And uh, DMN tries to finish him off, but he's going to get denied and pushed back by Shatler's Rockets. We've got Eclipse coming through as well, trying to get those stickies down. And uh, oh, the right click doesn't come up in time. Could have possibly picked up uh, Shatler right there, but uh, doesn't really... Uh, finger doesn't move in time, so... Once again, just going to be on another stalemate right now, just waiting for something to happen. Oh, oh Striker, Striker going, yeah, going in straight away. Tries to get the pick down onto the Medic, but doesn't quite get the shot to land. Uh, they are going to be one player down, but apart from that, I don't think they're going to be able to do anything. We've got Nasty once again at the drop down, waiting for them to poke through uh, before they can actually jump up. So, the moment Neighbors in range, that is not going to be looking up for ITD. All Nasty has to do is jump up, get a force. That's going to be pretty much easy for the side of CTZ. Uh, they're going to have Striker on Spy this time around. He's going to see if he can uh, get some backstab action going down. ITD players just poking around the big door. Apart from that, nothing much getting done. Uh, not too sure if they spotted that spy play yet, though. Uh, once again, CT, uh, Striker's just waiting for his club to regen before he decides to go for anything too risky. And, uh, yeah. Having to resort to a spy player to get down the medic to either move that Ubi charge or force it. Uh, I'm not too sure exactly how long we were at this, uh, standstill. Oh, <laughs> Lit Rush doesn't turn around in time to see that, uh, door. Opening strike is going to be all the way behind them right now. Going to be circling around through uh, Riverside. So just going to keep the camera on striker right now because there's pretty much nothing eventful going down at Choke. So just going to have to wait and see if he's going to be able to land that Assassin's Creed stab. Neighbor's right there with 75 health. If he doesn't land a stab, uh, you know, if he's able to land a ambi shot, provided the health doesn't regen past that range, yeah, it already has. He's not going to be able to land that uh, ambi kill, but he should still be able to grab that max stab though. That being said, Neva eating so much damage. He's waiting for his head to come into view. Still yet to be spotted though. Apparently, Striker still cloaking and decloaking. Yet to be spotted by the TDI players. Making his way through. Almost landing that back stab, but moves away just in time, Neva. By the grace of God, somehow survives. CTZ players still up and well. I do think they finally want to push in with this, and they do. There we go. Ubers are going to be traded on the midpoint. Going to have some players getting taken down. Namelock going to be the first one to finish off. Uh, followed by Led Rush as well. Never going down shortly after that. Uber fades. And ITD's DMA going to be lagging midair. Still alive. Possibly going to fall to... Uh, there you go. The Walls of Gravity going to finish him off. Midpoint. Sorry. Second point already in the hands of CTZ. Pronus is just going to be rushing the last. Let Rise going to try to defend this. It's going to be an MGE fight. Can they cap the second before Pronus to finish us off? Let Rise. Yeah, he's going to have to back out. Spawn is going to come in for the side of ITD. And uh, pretty much once again, they're just going to be on the last point. Slightly rare though in the hands of CTZ. Fairly negligible though. If ITD can start building that, doesn't look like they are at the moment. Once again, no off passing for the side of ITD. Ooh, risky plays though, risky plays, because CTZ is going to have that Ubi charge very soon, 30% more. And then they can start pushing in once they get everyone buffed back up into the healthy range. Everyone's just eating a little bit of spam, but it should help to build that Ubi charge soon. Shallow going to get an arrow, he's going to be buffed up. Full Uber ready to go, 50% Uber at. It's time to push in with this and make the most of it, but the pipes coming up from Eclipse takes down Ellie, two pipes straight to the face, the plumber shots. Coming out from Eclipse, fully negating that Uber charge. I have no idea why the right click didn't go down at all, but aggressive bomb straight down, trying to get the pick down onto Neva. Neva somehow surviving with 29 health. He's still going to be up and well. And uh, full Uber at into the hands of ITD. They have to make the most of this. Six minutes counting down. It's going to be really tight, but they may still be able to come back from this 3-0. Oh, they have to play this really smart. The Devilman eventually going to get picked off. 
with Neva at full charge. It should be an easy mid, provided they don't make any dumb mistakes. Strike is going to be a sniper. We've got CTZ players on mid right now. It should be high time for them to back out. Strike is going to be watching for the big door. Can he get the force down onto the medic? No, he can't. He's going to have to back out. Solly's going to come in from the big door as well. He's backing out all the way through the lobby. CTZ players still standing strong, holding their ground on their midpoint. 52 against Nevis, 100%. Nevis still yet to pop that Uber charge. They've finally capped mid. It's time to start pushing out, but they're still congregating at that choke. Coming in finally from the big door. We've already got Lerat in the low lobby. He's going to get picked off. Aggressive bomb coming in from DMN. They have to pick up the medic if they want to negate this charge. They do successfully. And the Uber finally pops for the side of ITD as well. But they're going to drop three, four players. The only people are going to get Eclipse and the medic at the front line. Not the medic anymore. The medic just right there, but unable to keep Eclipse alive. Full wipe on that attempt despite that full Uber charge. ITD. Both players are consistently throwing. <laughs> like the one v ones with each other, and they're getting like four wipes, but they haven't passed around yet, Alert. which is surprising. Control point is being contested. Right, so they they're not going to be able to grab that second point. They get pushed all the way back. Midpoint in the hands of CTZ once again, and uh, ITV players have to back out all the way once again. They're standing in their lobby. Uh, Meta going to be at 12%. They can start building this. We've already got a scout going to start try to rush that final point striker. Going to prove a little bit of distraction to keep everyone back but uh, he's going to be made short work of. There are going to be people poking around the big door. Not anymore. He's going to be backing out. I don't think they want to contest this though. Despite, excuse me, despite having that uh, very slight Uber charge. Both buddies don't seem to be building their Ubers though. We see Neva stuck at 29 for quite some time. And uh, Ellie's eventually going to start building up his charge as well. Of course, we are going to have Protoss on Sniper. We're going to try to see if we can get the picks down at the big door. Lerot's going to be the first one taken down. Wolfie eventually going to get finished off with a Machina shot straight through his body. That is going to be the scout down. So they're going to start to try and push in. We've got two players down from the side of ITD. Everyone's still up for the side of CTZ. Neva is in the sight lines. He's eventually going to get picked off by Shatler. There's no heals, no charge. Four players down. DMN possibly down as well. Eclipse, the only person I'm at choke. Picks up quite a few players, but he's going to go down as well with that Machina shot coming out. And a full Uber charge for his CTZ. I'm pretty sure this is going to be another easy point. Unless, unless Yekom, oh, he swaps out from uh, Sniper to the Heavy Weapons guy, but they're going to start being shiny. He's still trying to lay down the lead. He's going to get picked off with a headshot. And uh, yeah, I don't think ITD are going to be able to defend this. They're dropping most of their players. The only people are going to be Lead Rush as well as Eclipse, though. They're doing a decent job of defense. They proved me wrong. There you go. Lead Rush coming out on top. Cleaning up the entirety of CTZ. Full wipe on that uh, last point push. We've got Striker spawning in as a Pyro though. He's going to be coming in. Right click coming out from the Solly. But uh, it's not going to land onto anything. Striker just hanging around the corner to see if he can get any sneaky ambush Pyro tricks. But uh, apart from that, I don't think he's going to be able to do much. Because nothing's going to be coming this way as of right now. He does try to get the shots down <laughs> onto the Devil Man, but the Devil Man just jumps away. Wolfie well, gonna eat a comp blast, but apart from that, he's gonna be fine. Grabs that flare, but he's gonna reunite with the medic to bring him back up. Everything's fine and dandy. They do grab that second point, but 2 minutes and 15 seconds. I'm pretty sure it's uh, pretty much trash time. CTZ gonna take the first map. I think CTZ is yes, but it's kind of BMing. <coughs> They're BMing right now. Look at name lock. With the Demonite coming out, it's going to be high, <laughs> waiting for an opportunity. Let's see if you can do anything with this. Yeah, so we got the uh, shenanigans coming out right now, but uh, first map, essentially, I, there's nothing that ITD can do to come back from this. A minute and 38 to come back with three points is not really going to go down. We've got the Solis just picking and poking each other through. It's Demo Charge coming in with a crit frying pan. Going to take down Letter Raj. Ellie going to have to pop that Uber Charge to keep the teammates alive. And there you go, Nevo as well. Doesn't really, uh, not able to keep Eclipse alive. He's going to have to bounce out of there. Going to get picked off by the Scattered Gun. Uh, DMN going to be under the bridge right now. I don't think he's going to be able to do anything. Tries to get a pick down to the minute, but gets absolutely denied with uh, Ellie still up and well. So, the Swanners eventually going to come in for an ITD, but a little over a minute remaining. Nothing much going to go down right now. And uh, they're going to just recapture this second point. And uh, 
possibly push this to a 4-0 depending on what they're going to do. But with the, dude, just the fact they got a demo, my, uh, demo Knight, I don't think they're going to do anything about that. TDI just aren't building like as well as CTZ. They just they just can lose those like ten percent ads. Yeah. Because CTZ is like building really well, and they don't know how to back out when they have this ad, mm -hmm. and that's they get caught up. Yeah, there you go. Solly's gonna start bombing in right now. We've got Shella already in. Gonna jump back out. We've got the frying pan demo man. Gonna pick up DMN. He's gonna be the next one to bite the dust. We've got a uh, crackle fizzle pop let run with that cow mango. Gonna pick up Shatler. And there's going to be a little bit of fight going down inside the river. We've got an uber demonite. Uh, demonite. That's just straight up uh, the, the, the nonsense coming out. Nasty just going to be fighting that demon man. Going to pick him off. And uh, they're going to just try to push in to pick up this uh, final point. Two seconds left. They're standing on the point. Not enough time. 3-0. That's going to be the first map. See if you gully wash. Both teams are just throwing players, but... CTC are just building just too well for TDI, honestly. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I don't know. Uh, ITD looks like they've gone one player down. Neighbor's not in right now. Uh, not too sure if it was connection issues or whatnot. But yeah, they're going to be changing map. It's going to be CP process. Second map, CP Process, and then uh, tiebreaker map, if needed, will be CP Badlands. So that is uh, first map, of course, into CTZ's hands. I would say uh, fairly, uh, in a way, expected, judging by the first half in terms of performance off the bat. Uh, ITD, they were just sending people in at the wrong times. Uh, just in general, n no. But uh, f fingers crossed, you know, fingers crossed, so we get to see some more action coming out. Uh, on CP process, I want to see if ITD can come back from this and uh, possibly get get a map off of CTZ. Uh, I really want to see if we can go into CP Badlands. That, of course, just means more TF2 for all of us. But uh, yeah, once again, for those of you who are only just joining us, a very good evening and welcome to the Div 3 semi-finals tonight uh, for the Age of Fortress Cup Season 11. We've got uh, Chaotix facing uh, facing off against technical difficulties. And uh, first map has been played, CB Gullywash with a 3-0 victory into the hands of CTZ. Uh, second map in order for tonight is going to be CP Process. Right now we're just waiting for the players to rejoin the server before we can start the game once again. In terms of performance, I would say CTZ so far, they have been taking the cake. ITD, they've been having a little bit of a uh, couple of shaky plays, but Eclipse, uh, you know, if his uh, double pipe medic drop uh, at that last point, attempted push coming up from CTZ, I would say it's fairly decent uh, shots coming out from uh, the technical diff players. Especially at uh, defense as well, they did a fairly decent job. DDI might win this process game because they are swapped players. Sai is going to be playing... But I don't know if he's playing med or not. Maybe that's a problem. Neighbor must be playing med. It's not counting. Yeah. Lupus. Maybe Sai can bring back the trophies. Yeah, Sai, he, you know, Sai was uh, supposed to be their main Solly. So with him back on Solly and DMN on Solly as well, Lerach can go back to Scout. And uh, all they have to see now is uh, who they decide to send as. Uh, oh, are they having a roster shuffle? I think so, but we don't know who's playing med yet. I think it's going yeah. be Sai. DMN on demo map? Or are they just, just trying to sort stuff out still? Ooh. Right. So, do you have any uh, MVP for the previous game? Anyone who stood out? Nah, I don't think so because both teams are throwing players. <laughs> yeah, mistakes mistakes were probably made for both sides. Um, I would say more mistakes being made for the side of ITD. Uh, sending people in when they shouldn't have. Not going out when they had Uber ad. Just the, the fairly standard stuff. But uh, you know, all, the, all these all these mistakes can be learned from, and uh, possibly put to use uh, for this second map tonight. I really hope um, you know. I really hope we get to see some uh, some good plays coming out. 
So we're just gonna have to wait and see. Process, of course. Mid fight is gonna be pretty interesting. We've got quite a quite a big area for people to jump about, and uh, just waiting, I guess, for ITD to sort their roster out. So yeah, the ITD uh, te technical difficulty players, they're trying to sort their roster out right now, uh, trying to see who fits best where, CTZ of course, they're comfortable right now, they, they've, uh, they've got their roster sorted out. Uh, for those of you just joining us, let's, uh, let's go through the rosters really quickly, once again, CTZ's roster, please, take it away. So CTZ, do you have Striker and Protest on Scout, Ali on Medic, and Nasty and... Shatler on Soldier. Right, that is the roster for CTZ for TDI right now. We're still unsure! Not too sure who's gonna play what right now, so we're just gonna have to hang tight for that. But I do think possibly um, one of the Sollies right now may be bumped off to play Medic. Uh, they may keep Eclipse on Devilman though, he did a fairly decent job I think. Uh, earlier on on the previous map, but uh, nothing too noteworthy, so we're just gonna have to wait and see uh, how they decide to sort that uh, sort that roster out. So once again, yeah, good evening everyone, welcome to the Asia Fortress Cup Season 11! Div 3 semi-finals, it is gonna be CTZ Chaotix are facing off against ITD, technical difficulties for tonight's semi-finals to see who gets pushed up into the grand finals and who will have to be content with a bronze badge. Um, both teams, of course, uh, first map, 3-0 in favor of uh, CTZ. Second map right now, yet to be played. Still waiting on ITD to sort their rosters out. But uh, fingers crossed they get it sorted out soon and we can uh, move on to see how process plays out. Shout out to Kia. <laughs> Yeah, might as well. If you've got any shoutouts, feel free to toss it out right now since it's pretty much just downtime. DDI is still missing everything. No one's playing Medic, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're just trying to sort out their roster, I guess. Everyone's just waiting on the, the uh, TDI players to sort stuff out. But based on what we've been seeing on the previous map, I would say Nasty is going to be a pretty big player on CP process because uh, there's lots of space for him to jump about and uh, lots of places for him to hide as well. As we saw on the Div 2 matches where he uh, merged for TMG, he was hiding up in IT and uh, managed to get a couple of picks off as well. So. Sticky swats coming out from Nasty. Definitely gonna watch those happen later on. In terms of medic plays, uh, ooh, are they gonna have Eclipse on medic though? That is a pretty big change. Hope he can count Uber. <laughs> Yeah, so not too sure if that is the confirmed roster that they're going with right now, but uh, they've got all the necessary classes in play. So, yeah, once again, just gonna have to wait and see if, if that is what they decide to go with. 
Shout out to Crooked and Walker. <laughs> Shout out to all those people inside Twitch chat as well. Hashtag Kachow, people. Get those Kachows up in chat. So just waiting on them. Uh, yeah, this is always the frustrating part. Uh, every post, uh, every pre-match, where we're just gonna have to wait for stuff to be sorted out before we can actually start. And then we hear that uh, announcer counting down, and we heave a huge sigh of relief because it means we can finally get things rolling. So until that time, just uh, just hang tight, hang tight, sit back, relax, go grab a drink, go grab a drink, have a toilet break, grab some food. And uh, we're just going to have to wait for stuff to be sorted out before we can actually move on with uh, the second map, CP Process. Still waiting on uh, updates from ITD. TDI, ITD. Yeah, is that possibly going to be what their roster is going to look like? I've got the two scouts, Yerkum as well as Wolfie. Two solids lit Raj as well as Sai who's going to be coming in for this second map. DMN going to be on the demo man role this time around. And uh, Eclipse is going to be the medical healing man. Does look like that's going to be the updated roster for ITD. Uh, possibly just going to wait for them to ready up before we can start map 2. I think I need to turn off the AC. It's fucking cold in Hoshia. <laughs> We heave the sigh of relief. <sighs> Here we go. Gonna be following DMN for his rollout this time around. Once again, we are gonna be on our Shana server, so no resets. Everyone's gonna have to start off the bat. Fairly decent uh, rollout, standard issue stuff. He's gonna miss that second fight, but he's gonna be able to come back into mid right now. We've got the Soli Sai up top on the craze. It does look like uh, IT Depot is gonna be reaching fairly earlier compared to the CTZ. Spam game gonna start off straight away. Shallow gonna be jumping forward. Gonna try to spam down those left clicks onto everyone. He's gonna be taken down to the double digits, but the medic gonna bring him back up. That air denial coming up from Pronos so is gonna finish off Let Rush as well as Sai right there. Both Solis down for the side of ITD. Both scouts still up though, with the demo man going down for the side of ITD. They're just gonna have to back out. Wolfie gonna fall shortly after. It's just gonna be the medic as well as Yekom. They're just gonna have to back out all the way straight to the last. It's time to start. Uh, possible off-classing because your spawners are not going to be coming in in time for them to recapture that spire. Uh, both medics will still be able to have that full uber charge. Once again, we're not going to be seeing any off-classing coming up from ITD, but we are going to have name lock as a spy for the side of uh, CTZ. Just going to spy for that forward spawn. They do grab spire as well. That's why they want to push in with this full uber charge. And, uh... Proudness of getting caught out in all that spam, eventually gonna get shotgunned down. Nasty, of course, gonna be peeking around with that Australian black box, gonna try to spam people out. 
But uh, yeah, they're just gonna hang tight because they don't really want to contest Shiny Uber to Shiny Uber face to face. So they're just gonna have to wait and see what's happening. Got Sai trying to jump to do something, but he's gonna jump up. Can he get a force? No, he does not. That mid air pipe coming out from Namelock gonna deny Sai right there. Unable to get the Rockers down onto the man to grab that force. Protoss is gonna be on a sniper this time around. Gonna make his way to the front lines to possibly get that coveted medic headshot. And he's gonna be running the Machina uh, to see if he can actually get that shot down. Just going to be scoping through, watching the right side. Once again, we don't have any sentry guns in play. He does spot that medic up on top in secret. There you go. That is the Uber Charge effectively gone. They can push in with this off the bat. Let Rod's going to be up there as well. Uber Charge going to be coming in. Shiny Black Box. Demo Man down. Scout up top. Nothing he can do. Yekom just trying to dance about. Eventually getting Gib. Wolfie's going to be alone on the point. 61 health. Can he do the plays? Apparently so. But there's just so many people and so much caps time. 1-0 to CTZ, first point. I think for that, the first mid, TDI just didn't take high ground and they're just playing one by one. And the people, their combo is just behind them. It's just baiting. Yeah, so once again, it just boils down to positioning, I guess, for TDI. Despite reaching mid relatively early compared to CTZ, they just weren't in the right places. Sai so gonna be grabbing that high ground first, and uh, CTZ, of course, gonna do the exact same thing after that. They are gonna be able to pick up Nasty, but they do drop DMN. So much damage coming out from Namelock's pipes. And uh, yeah, Ledrod's gonna be at 38 health. The medic, of course, gonna try to keep him healthy. Namelock gonna get focused down by Sai, but not enough damage getting tossed out. The medic getting really low as well. 67 health. He does survive, though. He's gonna go toe to toe against Shallow. He does finish him off in the end. Doesn't like it's gonna be a successful mid for uh, TDI. They're gonna start making their way forward as well. CTC players hanging a little bit far back, not too keen on contesting this point as of yet. We've got Chronosif on the sniper once again. Aggressive bomb coming in from Nasty. Can he get any picks up though? 13 health, no he can't. Chronosif gonna be a sniper. Nope, back spawning as a scout, so he's gonna be fine. Uber pop though for the side of CTZ. They're just gonna be pushing out. They do pick up Eclipse, so that is uh, not too sure if Eclipse did pop his Uber charge. But uh, that is going to be no kills at the front line. We've got a scout bouncing about trying to get a pick down onto the medic. But he's going to be up and well. Wolfie gets absolutely denied. And uh, Spy is still in the hands of CTZ. Doesn't look like they should be able to push out to have another mid fight. ITD not too keen on contesting this. They're just going to have to back out. Aggressive bomb coming in from Chandler, but he's not going to be able to pick up anyone. Just hanging around that choke area. Let Raj, of course, going to try to lag his way to safety. Staring into space right now, pondering about life. Randomly shoots a cow mango shot behind him, but he's going to be fine in the end. Not going to get picked off. And uh, having a laggy Solly right now, not really optimal for the side of ITD. If uh, Let Raj, you know, momentarily just staring into space. CTZ, however, they're just going to try to be pushing forward. Nasty eventually going to get picked off. With uh, Namelock trying to spam those stickies across the map. He's going to get picked off in return. If a uh, striker at the front line is trying to call for an overheal, he's eventually going to have to reunite with his mate to grab that buff before he can push forward. Going to go toe to toe against the scout, getting finished off in the end. Wolfie going to pick him up. But uh, Spire still in the hands of ITD. They're just hanging tight, happy to sit on this point right now. Scores are still 1 0 in favor of um, CTZ right now. And uh, yeah, pretty much. I think Stai did a lot in the second bit, honestly. He, he distracted the combo, but he, he just stayed alive for so long mm -hmm. that any, everyone that was in front of <coughs> uh, CDC's combo was actually like, taken down before anything happens because Sai was just there distracting everyone. Yeah, so both medics do have that fully recharge ready to go. CDZ, they're just all on the point right now. We've got a sniper in place. Uh, Striker's gonna be the sniper. And uh, just spazzing about <laughs> just for a moment right there. Just spazzing about. And uh, Nasty, of course, gonna make his way to the front lines. Changing back to that stock rocket launcher. I say stock, but it's actually Australian. What? It's, it's the same, it's the same thing. But uh, ITD, just gonna hang back on their spire. Got people watching flank, got people watching choke. Aggressive bomb coming in from Nasty. Doesn't quite pick up anyone, but he does prove quite a scare. He's gonna be able to come back and get buffed up. And uh, once again, it's just gonna be uh, everyone just hanging about choke. Eclipse gonna get picked off by the sniper once again. Full Uber push in. No charge, no heals. That pretty beautiful denial coming up from Saido, jumping up and finishing off Shatler midair. And. Uh, here we go, we've got Lirath jumping in, but he's going to get denied with the Sticky Traps in play already. And uh, we've got another scout coming in from behind. Yekom going to try to see if he can MGE his way to victory, but the answer is no. 
And uh, yeah, Uberat still in the hands of Ellie. We've got Eclipse currently at 15%. Still using that stock minigun. Uh, if this were iPhone, he'd probably be on the Fascinator right now. But uh, different teams have different playstyles, of course. Not judging anyone. 50% in the hands of Ellie right now. 30% for Eclipse. Just hanging back, and I don't think they're going to push in without that full Uber Charge. So they've still got time. If they're able to build that Uber Charge, they should start building it. Yakom yeah, going to be with that Boston Basher eventually going to start building up together with his medic. But I don't think it's going to go up in time. CTZ's already at 95. They're going to push in straight away from Boiler the moment they have it. And uh, once they buff everyone up, there's, there we go. As I said, Pronos is going to come in all shiny and twinkly. He's going to try to finish off that scout, but the scout just dancing about. Dodging all those shots. Points still up for grabs. The opponents are making his way through the front lines. We've got aggressive bombs coming in from Shatler. Striker going to be up top inside the secret as well. Going to try to push people back down into the fire zone. And uh, Shatler going to be jumping up. Once again, Uber finally popped for the side of ITD. They managed to survive. Keep their medic alive. Pop the Uber and save that final point. Yeah, I'm going to be the first one taken down, but it doesn't really matter. We've got people playing about on the point. Striker going to be coming in from behind as well. The cleanup coming in from CTZ. Out of absolutely nowhere, they didn't check up top, and there you go, they grab another point, and a tactical pause goes down, post the victory. TDI's medic is just dying to random things, honestly. Yeah, he's got, he died to the sniper shots twice, uh, this map, and uh, yeah, that is, uh, that is really, really unfortunate. Clips walking into the right click of the car mangler and getting a body <laughs> shot. <laughs> Oh boy. Looks like Striker is restarting, I think. Is he? He left the game. Yeah, possibly just restarting for that. Mm hmm. Yeah, so CTZ grabs the second point, 2 0. There's 22 minutes and 19 seconds counting down. Uh, ITD needs to stop making mistakes if they want to turn this around. It is still within reach, it is still possible, but oof. if they're not, you know, they're not learning from their mistakes, they're not learning from their mistakes, they're still sacking people in sometimes, um, but I don't know, I guess they compared to the previous one, they slight changes, especially with, uh, with the, the updated roster as well, so. Uh, I would think that uh, latency issues in terms of latency, um, Liraj has 74 but he seems to be just teleporting sometimes so yeah having a Soli that's blinking about as well and sometimes just motionless definitely not a good thing but uh, nothing you can do about that now we are already midway through the match and uh, tactical war is going down You're just gonna have to wait for whoever it is to come back or whatever it is to be sorted out in the meantime, um, I will have to say I think CTZ is going to take it and uh, that is, that's it. We won't be seeing CP Batlands. I think CTZ is going to take process as well. Unless TDI learns from their mistakes and just do a massive comeback. Mm -hmm. Well, there's, there's still time. I mean, 22 minutes, you know, a lot of stuff can happen. They may have a, I don't know, a sudden epiphany and suddenly start playing like uh, like they should. But uh, we're just going to have to wait and see how things play out later on once uh, the unpause goes down. But uh, second point, of course, going to go into the hands of CTZ. Uh, in the span of uh, a little under eight minutes, I would say that's a fairly quick matches, uh, match going down so far. Just going to have to wait and see how they want to play this because if they start, you know, with all the Demonite shenanigans once again, uh, I don't know if the ITD, I don't know, if they start with those shenanigans again at ITD, they should find a way to capitalize on that. But we'll just have to wait and see. I really don't know what uh, ITD is going to do later on. I think TDI is just taking 1v1s because they're not kind of focusing their players. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they're just taking like 66 and, and everyone's just taking like 1v1 <laughs> of the 6 yeah. people. It's like 6v6 MGE where each person just <laughs> finds their own opponent and tries to take him down. But uh, that's not the case with CTZ though. They see one person coming in, they pick you off and then they move on to the next target. So, unpause, there we go. We're gonna go back uh, to the unpause right now. And uh, Wolfie's still on the sniper roll. Are they gonna be running sniper in the mid? I think Striker had to leave and Sinai is just sub. Ooh. Yeah, thanks, Doc. 
Oh my. Alright, so Sinai's gonna be coming in as the scout. And uh, gonna have to see how things play out right now. We've got uh, mid fight, of course, gonna go underway. We've got aggressive bombs coming in from Sai. He's can't even pick up anyone. We've got some meaty shots coming out from the sniper as well. Wolfie gonna try to land those meat shots down. Trying to get the pig down onto the medic, of course, but he's just not landing those headshots that he needs. The medic eclipse is gonna eat a bit of spam, but he's gonna be fine. The scout's gonna eventually start running in. I don't think there's anything that the ITD players can do for mid anymore. And uh, yeah, they're gonna start backing out. Sinai gonna be coming in, dancing about the point. Just pushing the ITD players back. They've yet to capture mid though, so they're eventually gonna start capturing mid. I do think CTZ players can actually just leave a scout to camp and start pushing forward because ITD, they're nowhere near their midpoint. They could have possibly came out to gain some ground. Yeah, the TDI just aren't leaving, like, choke. Yeah, they just aren't. This is not leaving Cho after they after they lost like few players, and that's why they are just getting like wiped every time. Mm -hmm. So Pronosif is still behind everyone. They're eventually gonna spot him out together with Namor. Namor's gonna be at 15 health. Eventually gonna get finished off, but Pronosif still up and well, hiding about at the shutters. No one was sent behind to look for him, so he's gonna be fine. The only person up at the spy right now is gonna be Yekon, but he's eventually gonna get spotted out by that spawner. He's gonna miss that jump, he's gonna get taken down. So that is gonna be Pronosif's uh, sneaky strategy eventually coming to an end. Right click coming out from Shatler, but I don't think he's gonna land onto anyone. Well, I take that back, it lands onto Lenraj, I believe. But aggressive ball once again coming out from Sai. He's not gonna be able to pick anyone up though. Everyone's gonna eat quite a lot of that right click. And uh, the medic, of course, can try their best to keep everyone buffed up. Uh, ITD, they do seem to be doing fairly well this time around. They're coming in, jumping about, grabbing that midpoint, and trying to grab this Spire as well. And they do so relatively successfully. They got their full Uber charge. They have to move fast if they want to capitalize on this. Protoss of it is still going to be a sniper. Do not let your mid get shot. He misses that shot by a hair. And the Uber charge is going to get popped for the side of ITD. They're all shiny right now. They have to finish off Ellie. And they do. They're doing the cleanup right now. They have to pick off everyone one by one before they can capture the point. They're doing swimmingly this time around. But Nasty going to try his best to defend it. And finally, My God. they get a point on the scoreboard. <coughs> I think the MVP for this round is actually Wolfie. Oh, calling yeah. out all the damages, right? Definitely. So, yeah, they're still sticking with that sniper running all the way. Sniper to mid, sniper to last, everything. And uh, Pronos is going to do the exact same thing. We're going to see a sniper play for both sides. Sniper to mid, and uh, mid fight right now going to be in effect. We're going to have Solis bumping it about. We're going to have, oh, uh, there we go. Sai just eating that straight rocket to his face from Shadow. Aggressive bomb from Nasty. Can he pick up Sai? Yes, he can. He's still in the sewers, undetected. No one knows he's behind. Eclipse is going to be a world of hurt. No one's there to protect the medic. Wolfie's still absolutely oblivious. And uh, Nasty yet to reload, he eventually does and takes him down. Full white for ITD. And uh, ooh, without that extra scout watching the flanks, ooh, gotta be extra careful. If TDI, forward, yeah. TDI not watching their flanks and not leaving choke at the right times, they're just getting wiped out every time. Yeah. So finally, a very nice headshot coming out from Wolfie, taking down Nasty eventually. But uh, Spire already in the hands. Of CTZ. We've got the shutter opening. Wolfie landing a mini shot down, but he's not going to be able to land that kill shot. Nice shots coming out from Wolfie. Finishing off Pronus, so that is going to be the sniper down. One less problem they have to worry about. And uh, going to see what they can do with this. We've already got people out at the front lines. The scout Sinai going to try to finish off uh, whoever that Solly was. Sai, who finishes himself off. Uber gets forced in the end with uh, Eclipse sitting at a very nice 60% charge. I don't think uh, CTZ players are going to be able to push in on this. They're going to have to be really careful unless they can get the pick down onto Eclipse. Pronus, once again, is still going to be a spy running that Machina. Uh, make his way to the front lines. Of course, he has to get that pick down onto the Medic if he wants to negate that Uber charge. They've already at 95%. I want to see how they decide to play with this. They're going out from the rollout this time around. They have to pop before they emerge. Otherwise, they're just going to get headshotted off the map. Sai going down to the sticky traps, the Medic is not going to be able to, uh, not going to get any pops down, Late Rise is going to get denied, uh, Nasty going to make his way around, no one knows he's behind, possibly going in for a back cap, but yeah, comes going to be a sentry, sorry, a heavy weapons guy with a brass beast, nothing that Nasty can do about that. He's going to have to back out, finish off the sniper on Spire, 
And uh, Wolfie, can he get that dream hit shot though? Takes out the frying pan, <laughs> nothing he can God. do. He's gonna go down, but uh, yeah, so Spire's still in the hands of CTZ, with eventually someone coming out to recapture it. Sai, I wonder if he can do anything at all, the answer is 11 health, no! And uh, Lit Rush coming in, he's gonna pick up that, uh, gonna pick up Nasi and capture that Spire for his team. But CTZ, they're just gonna start pushing his time to back out, it's a very dangerous place if you're medic in at 97 health! Ooh, he goes back out, but uh, full loop charge is gonna be ready for the sign of CT, uh, sorry, uh, CTZ, yes, CTZ! And um... Possibly an easy last point push? Wolfie really should switch off right now because they botched their pushes because Wolfie is still on Sniper. Mm. And Sai just fed in. So they're two already two players down. But then Wolfie does not know how to press comma. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, yeah. Kona snipe. So that is Wolfie down. Uber gets popped straight away. They're going to start pushing in. Uh, Shadow doesn't quite land that rocket jump, but he's going to make it in the end. Trying to try to finish off the demo man, but the demo man surfs away to safety. CTZ players are still in, but the Uber gets popped for the side of ITD. Fizzle crack of pop lit rise picks up that Solly right there. Sorry, the demo man name lock going down. And uh, ITD should be able to recapture Spy right now. And the CTZ players, they're just going to start backing out. We've got Pernus still on the sniper. We're going to try to pick off players. We've got the medic at the front lines once again with nobody defending him apart from lit rise. And uh, with a sniper picking about, it's so dangerous for Eclipse. He finally finds some cover. And uh, that is going to result with Pronus of backing up to mid. So ooh, Eclipse survives that ordeal. But uh, if he comes out at the wrong time, though, Pronus is still watching that choke. TDI still needs to watch flank, though. I see six players just funneling through a choke. What the hell? They might. They should, like. Oh. I think Pronus is still alive there. Pronus! <gasps> oh! <surf. laughs> No one even went around to look for him, and he picks up the medic just like that. Oh dear me, that is not good. But uh, silver lining, they go through a full wipe for CTZ. ITD Psy doing a massive job working together with the rest of his team. They're going to start pushing forward to recapture that Spire. And uh, the spawn is coming in from CTZ, and uh, Eclipse is going to be on that Spyro waiting for that forward spawn. Wolfie already at the front lines, they have to move fast if they want to capture this. It's going to be a DM fight till the end to see if they can get the capture time done. But uh, once again, just tossing in two people to face up against all the spawners. Not a very wise decision. Wolfie does pick up Nasty though, so that is the silver lining to do trade right there. But uh, Spy is still in the hands of ITD. They've got the medic back at the front lines. Ubers are going to be relatively equal. Uh, but that last point push could have been better for the side of ITD. Oh no, even with... Bronus is big place. The team just gets wiped though. Yeah. Big shame. Sticky's uh <laughs> Sticky's in play at Shadow Wolf, he almost gets fragged. And uh <laughs> gets uh gets a nice shot down onto the Solly. Solly's still gonna be up and well though. We've got uh currently um no off classing apart from the spy uh sorry, the snipers that have been in play since the start. And uh yeah, so far it has been a mainly sniper focused game. Uh, Wolfie wants to get the headshot down onto the cow mango. Solly, the medic almost reaches inside view. That is a very dangerous place to be. Almost gets caught out. But so uh, Uber Chargers are going to be ready for both sides. Once again, it has to be a medic pick before they can push in. Wolfie eats the entirety of the right click coming out from the cow mango. He's going to go down. And uh, Nasty peeking around trying to get the shots down onto Sai, who's eating quite a bit of spam himself. And the clips! Oh, oh my god, Pronus! Oh dear me. That is Eclipse down once again. Full of the charge. Forget those plus twos in chat. Spire should be going into the hands of CTZ fairly easily. They've popped their Dibuchar to push forward. But we've got people behind them. We've got Ledraj at the final point together with the Demo Man. Not anymore. They're just pieces now. And uh, yeah, Spire's going to go back into the hands of CTZ despite those massive plays. Ooh, not working out for ITD. I mean, they've definitely improved a lot with that full wipe and pushing all the way. They did grab that one point onto the scoreboard as well, but 12 minutes and 41 seconds counting down. If they want to maintain in the running for the grand finals, they have to step the game up even more. And uh, possibly going to see another mid fight exchange. Maybe not. It does look like ITD are just going to be backing out all the way. Uh, Ubers are going to be relatively equal as well. We are still running um, sniper for the side of uh, Wolfie. ITD still running one sniper. If. Uh, CTZ going back to that uh, cookie cutter build, two scouts. So Sniper of course going to try to get those shots down, but he's just not landing them. He's just eating spam as well. The medic has to try to bring him back up, possibly toss an arrow his way. There we go, Mikini being finally. Sai just down. got Ali right there. 
I think Ooh. with the by the both teams are their medic, get, getting their medics frags because no one's watching the flanks. Yeah. Both no teams trying to flanks at all. Resi bomb! Oh my god! <laughs> the clips! Cool! Oh the next cool! Oh dear me. So above oh, no, uh, that, drop the Ruby charge. Look at this uh, backup! <laughs> oh yeah. Look at this backup! Oh dear. Oh man. See what I'm talking about? Like, no one has. No one's watching Flax. Oh dear, shot though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pronus up against the Wolfie. With the spazzy movements, not gonna be enough. Body shot goes down. Pronus is dead. And uh, Wolfie's still up and well, trying to defend the Spire for his team. He needs to land those headshots once again. And, uh. Oh, there you go. Headshot down onto Nasty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So they still, they recaptured that Spire, his headshots are definitely landing right now, Wolfie Gonna be a little bit on the ball this time around, landing those shots and uh, just uh -oh. pushing the CTZ players back Let Rush is behind him again Oh dear But he gets, he gets out though Wolfie is still on Sniper mm -hmm. But he's hitting shots, so I can't say anything <laughs> Yeah so yeah, Protoss has gone, gone back on Scout, so they, they've got, I would say, a bit more pushing potential on the side of uh, CTZ. Shallow gonna get taken down with a headshot, Wolfie definitely landing those shots for his team. As of right now, Wolfie definitely the MVP so far, but uh, we're gonna have to see if he can get that med pick, because both medics are gonna have their new charge ready to go. They're gonna start to try and push in. Letraj as well gonna be making his way forward. Of course, they need to get that force down. They're gonna have to milk this Uber as long as they can. And an uh, aggressive bomb straight onto the medic. There you go. Pop the Uber charge. Very good. Nail game coming out. They have to pick up the medic if they want to negate any further building, though. The medic is way, way away. The surf going down. Can he pick up the medic? Yes, he can. Can he pick up even more, though? No, he can't. But uh, CTZ, they dropped so many players, including the Medic, and Eclipse had to start building this charge as soon as possible. Why are they hanging so far back, though? Ooh, nobody at the front lines. That's not good. Pronus on, uh, on, on Sniper, though. He's going back. Gets a big place. Oh, he misses. Yeah, Wolfie, no, Wolfie's going to be watching out for him now. It's going to be a, has to be a counter sniper duel right now. So. Ooh, the Cow Mango shot's coming in. Body shot going down. Nasty eats 150 shot. Can he pick up that uh, solid mid air? No, he can't. But the laws of gravity are going to finish off Shatler. So thank uh, thank you, Sir Isaac Newton, for that. Shatler going down. They do recap to Spire right now. 9 minutes and 19 seconds. The scores are 2 1. Empty Sniper going down. Shatler, uh, sorry, Pronus is going to finish off Wolfie. And um, I would say Uber Ad in the hands of Eclipse, though. 90%. Uh, if Wolfie's still going to be on the sniper roll, they can just uh, push in straight away because, uh, yeah, he just, he's going to have to take oh his time no. to reach the front line. They cannot let this Uber charge go to waste so much. 90% they have to finish off the medic. Everyone's rotating inside spawn. It's time to get some capture time up onto the point. People are going to stick up, getting denied. They got their Uber charge. They're going to pop it and they're going to start pushing back once again. They're going to have to try to juke this out, but it doesn't look like it's going to work out for ITD. They dropped three players. Eclipse still up and well, though. He does somehow make it out. They're hiding up top. Yet to be spotted. No one knows they're there. Yekon and Medic. Eventually going to get spotted out by the scout. They're going to have to start standing on the point. Start building up that capture time. Can he capture it in time? No. Oh, what a huge shame for the side of ITD. Almost grabbing that back cap. But uh, Yekon's still up and well. They're not even going behind to counter this scout? Namelock is going to start to come in to try and get those shots down. Eventually they do finish him off. Oh, that was a huge shame for ITV. They could have possibly gotten that uh, back cap. So, Spire once again back into the hands of CTZ. With uh, midpoint still in the hands of ITD. Wolfie could be taken down. We've got ITD Sai making his way to the mid fights. And uh, doesn't look like midpoint is going to go into the hands of... Uh, CTZ because uh, yeah they've got that superior Uber charge right now they don't really have most of the players up front line Sai gonna be shooting rocks right now and uh, yeah they're gonna have to back out. I really think Wolfie should really switch off right now. It's really pissing me off. Just there were so many times that they would have won. God, but no, Wolfie is still on sniper. Yeah, Uber charge gets poked. I think Wolfie's gonna get picked off right now. There you go, 30 health. Another pipe's gonna come into his face. There, you go. yeah, oh my god, shot coming in. And uh, Spider gonna go into the hands of CTZ right now. They got three players down. 13 seconds, four time for Eclipse. They can just push in straight away, play heals, and uh, they can just capture that 
last point, bring it to 3-1. They're still very cautious though, going in, despite there being three players down. It's time to start getting some catch time up on the point to finish this. There you go. Scout's gonna be jumping about. Sinai gonna be on the point what jumping about. get off Sniper? What the hell? <laughs> Why would you even play Sniper at that point? Your team is dead. No Everyone's idea. on the point. No idea at all, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Still on sniper, goddamn. With six and a half minutes. Still running sniper the mid. Now at this stage, I'm not too sure if it's just screw it, let's have fun, or if this is legit what ITD wants as a strat, having sniper the mid all the time. And uh, at this rate, they're just everyone's gonna eat so much damage. DMN gonna get forced out. The scouts at the front lines. Wolfie going down as well. Litrush gonna eat that spam. Sai gonna be at the right side, but the CTZ players are just so aggressive right now. Possibly gonna be a full wipe. They do drop the medic. They drop the scouts. They drop the Sully, and uh, that is pretty much it. The only person up is gonna be Sai and DMN. They're just gonna have to be all the way back at the spawn. And uh, ooh, full of recharge for CTZ. It's gonna be an easy last point push, pop it and go in. Start fragging, get some capture time up. Spawn is gonna be coming in for the side of uh, ITD. We've got two snipers right now, which is pointless, but uh, oh, no. yeah, there you go. They probably do recharge. There's nothing that the ITD players can do. That's gonna be it. 4 1. TDI has no air denial. They need scout. Wolfie, scout. Oh, there you go. Okay, he has to come back. Watch this. Wolfie is gonna. <laughs> Get all the frags. Right, we've got Nasty running the direct hit this time around. We're gonna have to see how that plays out later on. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to see if Wolfie can do anything this time around. So Wolfie is gonna be a scout, finally making his way to mid this time around with a scatter gun instead of a sniper rifle. And uh, let's see if he can get any frags. Gonna go toe to toe against Sinai to see if he can get that scout MGE. He lands a very nice mid shot, but nine health. Can he finish him off? No, he can't. He's gonna have to go back into the sewers to get out that health back, but gets denied by name lock stickies. And uh, there we go, Nasty with that direct hit. We're running vaccinated this time around. Yakon gonna get immediately denied with that direct hit straight to his forehead. And uh, Nasty gonna get denied in return with a direct <laughs> hit counter. So there you go, that is gonna be Nasty out of the air. CTZ players aren't gonna be backing out though. They are gonna be backing up, pushed back through a choke. And uh, Lit Rush doing a fairly decent job of just forcing them back. They're gonna be standing on the point this time around. We've still got those two scouts up. It's time to leave your scouts to capture and time to push forward to try to gain some ground. And uh, there you go, Sai's gonna be pushing forward. I don't know why Lit Rush is the only one capturing. There we go, the scouts eventually gonna start coming in to make their way to the mid fight. And there you go, Uber gets popped. Lit Rush gets absolutely destroyed. And uh, Eclipse apparently gets taken down. Yeah, the entire combo was at their flanks. Again, no flanks. But Cronus with the 2k, I think, gets the yeah. medic, but. Can he get DM though? He's gonna pick up even more DM just dancing about. He denies that oh. health pack and <laughs> DM finishes oh himself my God. off. That is very decent. Uh, decent plays coming out from Pronosif right there. So they are gonna be capturing mid. They've already got people on Spire. And uh, ITD, it's time to start doing something if not anything at all. But I don't think they're even going to bother because time remaining a little under. You know, 3 minutes and 40 seconds to come back with 3 points, it's going to be extremely tight and uh, borderline impossible. So we're just going to have to see how, if if even, they can uh, play something out. But I think this is going to be in the hands of CDC. With 3 minutes left, I don't think it's possible anymore. Yeah, yeah we're going to have to see if they can do anything at all. We've got, of course... Uh, Nasty just jumped about. Can he get the pick down onto the demo man? <laughs> His kill gets stealed by the scouts. He's just gonna be dancing about. Yeah, there's nothing to say. Bring him a score. 5 1. Yeah, even Sai and Chan saying, Pronos, you better get first place. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. This is uh, 2 minutes, 2 minutes and 49 seconds. Uh, it's up to CTZ if they wanna, you know, take another map, put, uh, put ITD out of their misery get that 5 point uh, difference and call it a night but uh, we're just gonna have to see how they play it out ITD of course you know they can just do the best all or nothing and uh, try to close the gap a little bit but uh, at the rate things are going with Nasty all the way behind just bombing in picking up DMN Wolfie in the middle of nowhere playing medic this time around apparently get he's gonna get show. picked off and uh, yeah that's it full white I think TDI's biggest mistake is not leaving choke that's the one thing that's the getting them wiped every time yeah, they just clumped up, and uh, 
Yeah. Oh no. ITD, they're, they're, I'm pretty sure they're just messing about right now. They're just having roster shuffles. Sides on sniper. Eclipse is on sniper. Wolfie's the only medic. Yeah. Here comes the spawn cam. Yeah, they're just messing about. They're capturing Spire right now. They're spawn camping. Oh, the Eclipse. Gets a nice shot. shot. The medic. Do pick up the medic, but. Uh, Villain attempt, I guess. Villain attempt. They're just gonna start dancing about that uh, last point. Uh, Yekong's gonna be the heavy weapons guy. Arrow's gonna be tossed out from Wolfie to try to keep his teammates up and healthy. And uh, yeah, they're possibly either just gonna defend this final point for the next 1 minute and 34 seconds, or CTZ comes in and just uh, captures it. So Wolfie's gonna be really low, but the scout eventually is gonna get picked off by the uh, heavy weapons guy. And uh, CTZ just uh, hanging back. Ooh, hoo, hoo, Ellie, 21 health. Almost gets picked off again. The control point is being captured. So I going for the point. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, we've got sticky. <laughs> 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 what the hell is that? Random spam picks off that uh, Sully <laughs> oh, no. coming out with that uh, lock and load. So there you go. CTG just happily hanging about on that second point. Shallow gonna make his way forward. Don't think they're gonna be able to land anything. They do pop that uber charge on the sniper. <laughs> Flashes on the scout, tosses out Gerardi. Can he get the kill down to the Solly? Shut this up and well. No, nope, that's gonna, possibly gonna be it. 34 seconds. They're just farming stats now, if uh, there even aren't any logs actually. So it does look like it's gonna be a 5 1, if not possibly a 6 1, if they do clean up and just push last. But I don't think uh, CCZs are. I don't think they're really gonna bother with that. Looks like. Uh, Poey just went online. Yeah, Poey just went online. Possibly, uh, get late flamed out by his team later. Scout dancing about on the point. Sinnoh with two health grabbing so much caps time. All someone has to do is just fly in and stand on it. But it uh, doesn't really matter. 5-1 into the hands of CTZ. That means CTZ is going to get pushed back up into the finals to face off against Team Machines. And, uh... Technical difficulties, they're just gonna have to uh, go home with that bronze medal. Not too shabby, of course, you know, bronze medal, nothing to scoff at. You know, they did uh, come a fairly decent way, uh, taking down all the other Div 3 teams as well. So, shout out to ITD, you guys made it this far. Congratulations for taking on that third place. That's a really GG, but they would have won if it wasn't for the mistakes they had. They kept going on for the seven rounds. Oh, yeah. That they didn't, like, watch flanks, like, Nasty could just easily bomb into the combo, and of mm -hmm. course, Wolfie Sniper without the air denial is going to be really sad for yeah. <laughs> the uh, Eclipse on Medic, I think. So, uh, yeah, it was a bit of a shame, you know, that the ITD didn't really pull themselves together in the end, and uh, resulting with a 5 1. Uh, well, the fact that, you know, that at least they managed to grab that score, you know, that, that one point that time, uh, that was a really, really good match for them as well. They performed extremely well. Uh, during that round, if only they could have, uh, you know, applied that to every single round that they played, uh, definitely, possibly, uh, could have seen a, a difference in the scores. But uh, that is that is that three zero for the first map in favor of CTZ, five one uh, for the second map, CTZ as well. Uh, CTZ, of course, going to be pushed up into the grand finals, so we're just going to have to see how that plays out next week, I believe. Uh, where they will be facing off against Team Machines. So congratulations to CTZ and shoutouts to uh, TDI once again. Third place, not too shabby, not too shabby. Uh, so that is probably going to be it. It's a bit of a shame that uh, logs don't exist uh, for Shana servers. Or at least I can't pull them up right now. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for tonight. Uh, Dream, do you have any shoutouts you want to do? Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. But thank you, Rednax, for having me here. Oh, no problem. It's a pleasure having you on. So, uh, yeah, thank, uh, thanks, of course. So, you know, thanks for coming on. So, shout out to you, I guess, <laughs> for coming on and uh, covering this match with me. Uh, shout out to everyone in Twitch chat, of course, uh, for hanging out, keeping things lively. And uh, I guess we'll see you guys next week for that uh, Div 3 finals going down. Uh, stay tuned, of course, for that Div 1 match. I do believe TF Live, uh, they are going to be the ones covering that. So that is definitely going to be interesting. Uh, definitely want to see what Bye Bye Tommy and uh, Burger Apocalypse can do with their new rosters. Definitely going to be something to look out for. So that is going to be it for tonight. Uh, thank you all for hanging out. Congrats to the CTZ once again. And uh, cheers, man. Good night, everyone. <laughs>